Hey guys, it's Travis again from Old Nihongo. Um, I've gotten uh, the question several times about, uh, you know, basically why are you learning Japanese? Um, so I figured I'd take a few moments and, and talk about that and hopefully answer uh, all my reasons behind that in this video. So um, I guess I'll start with, um, you know, my, my main reasons for learning Japanese. Um, the first one is that the culture has always fascinated me. Um, just uh, seeing um, you know, various articles on the news, reading things on the inter interwebs, um, and, and all the things that I've read um, throughout the years, um, I've just found fascinating. All the different, um, all the different celebrations and festivals that they have. There's a place near me. Um, it's called the Morikami Japanese Gardens and Museum, um, or Japanese Museum and Gardens. Uh, it's been huge as far as uh, you know my learning of Japanese culture, um, you know, it, and and it's really helped to fuel my passion for learning Japanese, um, not only as a language but about the people and the culture and the history that goes behind that as well. Um, but uh, essentially, the the Morikami has uh, it, it's a very beautiful place. If you've never been um, and you're in the South Florida area, I highly recommend that you go. They have all sorts of different events there. Um, they've got uh, yearly events such as the Obon Festival, the Sushi and Stroll event. Um, they have different classes there. Uh, they have you know Japanese classes, history classes, uh, different events that they do there. Um, and I've attended a bunch of those different things. So that's definitely something that's given me more exposure to Japanese and um, and and really opened my eyes to um, some of what what culture. Um, is available and, and, and what unique things that Japanese has to offer. Um, so I guess, uh, you know, aside from, from just finding the culture fascinating, um, from the very first time I saw Japanese, I thought it was beautiful. Just the, the way that the kanji and, and uh, hiragana, katakana all meld together is just absolutely beautiful. Um, it's, it's, it's wonderful to look at the language, even though I can't quite read it all yet and I can't uh, quite understand it yet. Um, it, it fascinates me every single time I look at it, and that's my goal to be able to decipher that and to be able to read that and, and go, hey, cool, you know, I can I can understand what they're talking about in this newscast. Um, and it's it's also pretty cool to uh, to be able to you know say to different friends, hey, this is what this article is talking about, and um, you know this is this is what they're talking about on this uh, this newscast that's out there. Uh, so that really has 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 been a big motivating factor. Um, in my learning Japanese. Um, I guess something a little bit lower in the totem pole, but still kind of important. I've always wanted to watch anime um, without subtitles. I I've always loved anime, I've loved the storytelling, um, but I've never quite found the English translations or the English dubs to be able to par. I've always felt that there was there was more emotion, more, um, more feeling behind the Japanese um, voice acting. Uh, versus the English, and uh, I don't know. I think I think something's lost on that translation. So to be able to enjoy that and other Japanese media, um, you know, in in their native uh, native language without having to translate that uh, directly would be would be amazing for me. So um, those are my biggest reasons for wanting to learn Japanese. So another question that I receive a, from a lot of you um, is, what are my goals? What are, what, you know, what do I hope to achieve in learning Japanese? Um, so I guess my first thing that I would put on that list would be uh, to eventually achieve native level fluency. Um, I would like to be able to speak and read and um, and listen and, and be able to eventually write on a native level um, just as well as, as any Japanese person that, that went through um, you know their typical education system. Um, and who knows, maybe someday better. But um, I think for now, I would just really like to be able to to do all those things on a native um, native like level, um, without the need for translating into English to understand things. Um, essentially, go monolingual, as it were. Um, that's the term that they use all the time, and um, that Katz always uses in all Japanese all the time. Um, monolingual meaning that you essentially use Japanese to learn Japanese and. Essentially, at that point, it snowballs and only intensifies your learning process um, from there. 
So um, I would say that's probably my biggest goal, at least in the short term. A um, little bit more long term, I was really, really aiming for um, the ability to be able to translate and interpret Japanese. I've always found it really admirable um, for you know to, to just watch people that know multiple languages and that are able to quickly translate um, between those different languages and be able to um, decipher uh, you know all these different conversation points um, between the different languages and be able to uh, essentially make the link between different cultures and different languages. Um, and I would love to be able to, to do that. Um, I would say probably initially I would I would like to do it more as a hobby, but eventually I'd love to do it professionally. Um, and and furthermore, I'd like to use that to um, you know spread Japanese culture to the world, um, spread Japanese culture to um, North America, uh, particularly the United States. I know here uh, there's a lot of um, you know there, there's a lot more exposure than there used to be say 10 years ago, but it's still not quite to the to the level that, that I would prefer to see it. It's more of a, um, hey, you know, there's all this content, but we've still translated it into English and we've edited it to what, you know, we think that you should see. Um, and, and really, I would like um, for, for people here to have an understanding of the Japanese culture, um, among other cultures, that is. Um, and really be able to open their minds to other cultures outside of um, of the cultures that we have here. And I'm not necessarily saying that there's anything wrong with the culture here, um, but it's more uh, of an object of just allowing people to uh, expand their horizons and, and providing them with the means to do so. Um, another one of my goals um, has always been to work and live in Japan. Um, one thing that I would absolutely love to do, I would say is probably my, my um, end-all be-all dream, would be to work as either a graphics designer or game developer or, um, or even, a, even a programmer in Japan. Um, that's, that's been a goal of mine now for several years and um, you know, I've, I've recently decided to pick up the language um, as a means to achieving that goal. Um, because I've realized that it doesn't really make sense to try and go to another country and work and live with the people of that country when you don't know the language. Um, it doesn't really make sense in my book. So one of my biggest goals is, is to just learn the language um, and then learn the culture and be able to interact um, in, in, in a more natural form um, with the Japanese people. So. Um, I guess those are those are my main goals, um, and I'll probably make future videos uh, just kind of going into some of those in more detail, um, based on you know what questions and, and what people have. So, um, if any of you have questions for me or comments or anything, please feel free to leave them in the comments or make a video response or go ahead and shoot me an email or check out my blog. Um, again, my blog is uh, allnihongo.com. So, um, thank you for watching this video. Um, please feel free to subscribe and I will make another video soon. Thanks.